So I'm gonna show you the difference between murder and self-defense. Cause it's in the Bible, read. He that smiteth a man, so he that hits a man or does something to a man, so that he die and he kills him, shall surely be put to death. That's murder. Cause that man didn't do anything to you worthy of death. And if a man lie not in wait, but if he lies not in wait, like you waiting to try to kill this man, you got a grudge against him, that we call it, I got to drop on him more, the ops pulling up, but that's what we call it today. So if he lies in wait for you, like, hey man, he over there at the, the fast pick market. And then they go over there, they lying in wait for you, read, they, their intent is to harm you, read. But God deliver him unto his hand. What? He come to kill you, and you catch him trying to kill you, and then you, up the pole and you kill him. God delivered you in his hand because he was coming to harm you. You get, He thought he had to drop on you, but God flipped it on him. Now you got to drop on him and you kill him in self-defense, read. Then I will appoint thee a place whether he shall flee. But if a man come presumptuously un upon his neighbor. Presumptuously means he's intending to come upon you for the, do for the purpose of doing you harm. This is the difference between self-defense, murder, like, Killing somebody is, is bad, but if you're defending yourself, he gave you no choice. You're not gonna let nobody just run up on you and try to kill you. That's simple as hell. What man do that? Right? Read. To slay him with guile. So if he comes presumptuously upon you, he's attempting to come and kill you with guile, meaning hatred. His hatred for you is so great that he's, I gotta kill him. Yeah, nah, he over where? Yeah, nah, we about to go over there and we about to do what we gonna do. That's hatred. He's coming upon you to kill you with hatred. Read. Thou shalt take him from mine altar. God said he gotta die. That's why there's a law in America called the death penalty for things like that. Capital punishment. Because it's based off of if you kill somebody, you gotta die. Right. But if, if you kill somebody in self-defense, you don't have to die according to God because he came with the intent to harm you. You just defend yourself. He thought he had to drop on you, but God flipped it. Now you got to drop on him. He, that's called judgment. God judged his wicked behind because he's the devil for that. He's coming to try to kill his brother. Another man that looked like him. Another brother that's poor. We all poor. Hey, who, who ain't poor around here? Who ain't struggling, working two, three jobs, trying to hustle, feed their kids, you know, trying to hustle, feed their family, tired as hell, back hurt, feet damn swollen. Who ain't, who over here ain't living like that? You know who ain't living like that over here? Whoever owned that damn store. Right. That's who not living like you living. We all poor, but you know what we do? We deal with each other. We rob each other. We all poor. I'm going to rob you for $300. Then next week when I spent your damn $300, I'm back to the same poorness that I was. That, you tell me that makes sense? But everything we do is learn behavior. We learn this from the very people who hate us. That's why the brother was talking about we in slavery, man. We don't know how to think outside of this Bible. Go, come, come on back up, man. Where you at? Lamb. Lamb, come back up, man. I just wanted to, to touch on that point because that was a good point that he was talking about. There's it, because a lot of people be like, God say thou shalt not kill. There's, that's why it says law, statutes, and commandments. There's a law, and then there's sub-statutes that go into every aspect of that law. Just like God said, thou shalt not commit adultery. But in Leviticus 18, it shows you what that means. If you lay down with an animal, that's adultery. Right. If you sleep with a woman and your wife, that's adultery. If you sleep with a, another man, and you're a man, that's adultery. If you jack off, that's adultery. Anything outside of land out with a woman that's your wife is adultery. And the, but though, though you know what I'm saying, there's different aspects of it. So thou shalt not kill, there's aspects of it and levels to it so that, you know, it's not just that black and white. Because otherwise, somebody come up on you and they try to harm you, and you be like, well, I'm not going to defend myself because God said thou shalt not kill. Nah. God might have put him there because God said, you know what? I, I told him he need to do right. He won't do right. I'm going to let him go over here and think he got to drop on him, and I'm going to use him to kill him. That's how that works. Read. And I, and I want to show y'all something, brothers. I want to show y'all something. And my sisters, my sisters, because I was just talking to y'all about the things that we don't think about that go on around us that I was just telling them it's been happening so long we look at it as normal. The Arab man's supposed to own our store. You know what I told my brothers earlier? If you follow him home, he not going to no black person's store in his neighborhood. I guarantee you that. I want y'all to listen to this, my brother. You might, I want y'all to listen to this. Check this out. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temples of God? So that's what we don't know. That's what they don't tell us. 
our bodies, we, and only us, the Israelites, we are the temples of God. That's right. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. God dwells within you, sister. This Bible, while I was telling my brother, is not for everybody. Let me ask you a quick, same question I asked him since, does God love everybody? You think God love everybody? It's okay, sis. We're gonna we're, we're gonna give you the answer out of the Bible. So you say yes. What about what about you say? What about my sister? What she say? She say yes. Y'all give me two minutes. Y'all come out here, man. Let me show y'all something in the Bible. Read what you got. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So we defile our temples because we don't know that the things that we do, a lot of the things we are sin. Sin. We know that the wages of sin is death, right? And I know why we do it. I used to do a lot of the things y'all do. I used to do it. We stress on the job, at our house, in our neighborhood. Our brother's mad at us. It's beef going on. We are stressed out. But the Bible says if we defile our temple, God will destroy us. That's why we shouldn't smoke. My mother smoked until she died. And she died with the leg amputated. And it was horrible to see. But we do it to ourselves. Or clean food. Let me ask you brothers this. Do y'all eat pork? You eat pork? What about you, my sister? You eat pork? Little pork bacon? Little bacon on your sandwich? No. Right, what about catfish? 19. All praise. What about you, brother? Little catfish? Collard greens? You eat catfish, sis? What about shrimp? Crab. Go get a bag of crab from the crab. Lady. You eat crab, bro? What about you? Let's get that. Because those are the things, Scout. Yeah, right. And those are the things when the, when the Bible says that if we defile our temple, God will destroy us. When you look at our communities, who leads in high blood pressure? Gout. All these diseases. Because we didn't know that the Bible said this. Read. Yeah, let's start, let's start, with, let's start with the pig. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cub. He is unclean to you. So the Bible said that the pig is unclean to us. But you know what a lot of us thought? We thought that was a Muslim thing. We thought that that was Muslim. But you know what the Arab man will do? He'll sell you that sausage. He'll sell you that bacon. He'll sell you that pig. You can go right in there and get a pack of bacon right now, I'm sure. No, they don't. Huh, they don't sell bacon? They don't sell pork. Oh, they don't? They sell cigarettes. Yeah. They sell black and miles. Yeah. Bring it up. Yeah, they sell, they sell, they sell rolling papers. Yeah, yeah, so he, 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 he don't sell pork. They, they got gambling machines in there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's still selling, the devil. He's one wheel. Yeah, yeah, he's still, he's still the devil. Bring it up. And that's, good. that's what the Bible says. Read. Of their caucus shall ye not eat, and their caucus shall ye not touch. So we shouldn't be eating bacon. We should not be eating pork. Right. Hey, call that number, my sisters. All right, let's jump, let's jump down to the fish. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, uh -huh. whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers. Them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers, of that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So I want you to get abomination. Get, get, get what an abomination is. So, 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 right. And, and we're gonna. And the Bible defines what those are. It doesn't just name them. It tells you what it means, right? So we shouldn't be eating those foods. Those foods were not meant for us to eat. That's why you can see Arab men, white men, they'll eat pork, 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 pork. But why are we leading? Why do we lead in high blood pressure? Because that is punishment from God. High blood pressure is not a normal disease. Your blood pressure shouldn't just be shooting up because you're standing there. That is God's judgment for eating that stuff. Read what you got. So we're going to read what an abomination is according to the Bible. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44 and verse 4. How be it, I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. That I what? That I hate. So abomin uh, an abomination is a thing that God hates. 
right? So what were we taught? God is love. God is love, 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 love. But there are things that God hates. There are people that God hates. Y'all think? Do y'all think there's a people that God hates? Y'all think God? You think God hates people? So let me ask you, my brother, because we did go over some scriptures. We went over some history in the Bible. We identified that history with the with the history of our people. So I'm gonna ask you now: What is your nationality according to the Bible? Israelite, bro. That's who you are. That's who you be. There's no getting around it. And I, people come. Well, I ain't no Israelite. You are. You just rebellious as hell, and you don't want to believe what the Bible says. But that's who you are. So now, huh? People that are called by my name. Right. Right. And and, and we are the stiff neck, hard head people that don't like to listen. If black people and the Israelites ain't no Israelite. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.